The ocean, known as sea country, is an important part of Aboriginal culture and we all play an important role caring for the sea. My friend Kano can help us learn more about Aboriginal culture. Nianamani, Lily. Nianamani, poor King Kano. How did you make fire so long ago with no lighters or matches? Ooh, what a cool question. Kano's got the scoop on exactly how it's done. Well, thanks, Porky. You know, back in the day, you're right. We didn't have any fancy lighters or matches like today. We had special other materials like flint or our amazing fire sticks known as the Karla Koro. So, the fire sticks are like a magic wand, but cooler. Imagine two sticks from the yucca bush. Here, I'll show you exactly how it's done. The wider piece gets a small notch and hole. Then it sits on the ground. The other piece, long and thin, goes between your palms and you spin it super fast between your hands. The spinning creates friction, like rubbing your hands to keep warm, but way, way hotter. What's happening now, Kano? That friction heats things up so much that it creates an amber glow. Porky, this amber is like a tiny fire starter. And boom, we have fire. It's like magic from nature. Oh, there's another way, using flint and pyrites. But we saved that trick for South Australia, where flint was around. We use fire to cook, tell stories, keep warm, and even in ceremonies and medicine. But hey kids, remember, always have a grown up with you if you're trying this out. Safety first. Porky's Ocean Patrol.